Hello and hello everyone and welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. Today I am going to be uh, reviewing uh, for Mermaid, because it is Mermaid now, I'm going to be reviewing um, the very first Mermaid Barbie from 1991 and Mermaid Skipper from 1993, I believe. So, um, also, we're going to be talking about these new little treats my husband found at Target after we go over the dolls. So we'll go over these more um, after we look at the dolls. Again, I want to do this for Mermaid. Um, I personally love mermaids. I've always loved mermaids ever since I was a young little tot. Um, my favorite Disney movie is The Little Mermaid. Um, if you've seen one of my videos before where I talked about going to um, the Dallas uh, Comic Con last June, I got to meet Jodie Benson. I got my picture taken with her. Uh, she autographed one of my uh, Little Mermaid books. It was an amazing day. So I have always, always loved mermaids. So, uh, of course, I had to have the very first Mermaid Barbie to add to my collection. And uh, I don't know if this was the first Mermaid Skipper. I want to say probably she was. I'm not quite sure. And I will say my Mermaid Skipper is not complete. We'll go into that once we uh, go over Miss Barbie. So here we have Barbie. And again, this is the very first Mermaid Barbie from 1991. So she comes with all this you know, beautiful hair. There's some tinsel in it, um, but it makes it very pretty and sparkly. I don't know if you've ever seen the commercial for this doll on YouTube, but it's a very fun commercial. So when you get her hair in the water, it's supposed to change colors. You have really pretty blue and pink, and I think there's even a little bit of purple in here. Um, now, I've never put her in water to see the color change feature. I didn't want to do that with this doll, but um, if you go check out the commercial, it will show you what colors her chain, her hair will change into once it's been wet. And let's get a close look of her really pretty face. Of course, she has the superstar face mold. She has that you know 90s blue eyeshadow going on with the very pretty 90s blue eyes, the little star as her catch light. And again, a really pretty pink lip, some blush. She comes with uh, blue pearl stud earrings or, you know, pearl looking stud earrings. And then her outfit is this tail. I don't know what, the fabric is really neat. They chose a fabric that looks like scales and actually it's held up very well since um, the 90s. Uh, it hasn't, it's not one of those fabrics that deteriorates over time. She has this big, beautiful fin. Again, this really pretty kind of crinkly, I don't know what this fabric is called. If you know what it's called, please let me know down below. Uh, I don't think it's taffeta, but it's a really, it's a great stiff fabric. The fin has held its shape over the years. And then also it's open at the bottom where you can see her feet. And uh, her top kind of looks like shells. It's a halter top style. It connects in the back with Velcro and then this lifts over her head. And also the tail uh, fastens the back with Velcro as well. So again, this is the very first Mermaid Barbie from 1991. Um, I love mermaids. She's gorgeous. I had to have her. And I love her little shell looking hair piece attached to all the different ribbons and accoutrements. It looks, it looks really great. It adds a lot to her hair. Um, I did get this doll on eBay secondhand. She did not come new in box, but whoever had her must have displayed her because she looks perfect. <laughs> no, no problems. Uh, she came to me just like this. Her hair is in great shape. Her makeup, nothing's wrong with her. Maybe she came from another collector. I'm not sure, but she's in really amazing condition. So, and I'm an out of box collector. I've said this before. Um, so when I shop for dolls on eBay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for the best shape box. And if they're out of box, but they're complete and have all their accessories, I'll typically go for those. So that's, that's how I collect. So she's in great condition, just like she came out of the box brand new, very happy with, uh, with her again, happy to have her. Now, let's move on to Mermaid Skipper. 
So I think this was called mm, Mermaid Babysitter Skipper. You know, a lot of reviewers, doll collectors <laughs> that I watch on YouTube or follow on Instagram always crack the joke that Skipper is always a babysitter in every rendition. Um, Barbie was for a short time in the 60s. Barbie uh, came, had a little, I don't know if it was really a full outfit. It was more like an accessory pack called um, babysitting or something like that. But after that, once Skipper came out, Skipper became the new babysitter. <laughs> and that's just what she is. She's just uh, pretty much at this point a professional nanny. So this is, I think it was called Mermaid Baby babysitting skipper or something like that from 1993 or 1994 so again um her tail is slightly different it doesn't have that scale effect that barbie's has it's just a really pretty shimmery like coral orange color with this beautiful shiny you know purple more like lavenderish fin um her top is just a simple kind of ruched top that has this see-through or they're trying to make it blend in with her skin. It's kind of like that netting material that's kind of almost flesh tone. So it kind of hides, you know, it kind of uh, blends in with her skin, which I like. And then this pretty like purple gem right here in the middle. She also has um, pearl stud earrings and uh, you're the typical skipper body from the nineties. She can move at the, you know, waist kind of, she has a kind of like swivel waist, you know, the, her arms can go up and down and she's got the bend and click knees just like uh, Barbie and then I I really am a fan of the 90s uh, skipper faces I love the big eyes and this is a gorgeous like orangey coral lip she's got going on and I love the just I love the big obnoxious bangs from the 90s dolls love them love them love them <laughs> um I, I am a big fan of the Skipper dolls from the 90s. I don't have very many in my collection. I want to get more. Um, I also am a fan of the of the Teen Skipper as well. So, I'm getting off track. Let me get back on track here. <laughs> so, uh, here she is. I love her outfit. Now, she did come with um, twin merbabies. And uh, they were... They were uh, later on in the years, the, the babies were named Chrissy, I believe. Yeah, Chrissy. So I don't think they were called Chrissy in this set, but the Mer babies were two twin Chrissies. And um, now my doll was not complete. I got her off of eBay. I only got the doll and one of the Mer babies, and I don't know where they went, where where I put it. It's somewhere in my it's stored somewhere. I still have it. Um, so originally she came with like, these uh, Velcro like almost wristbands. And there was Velcro on the back of the baby's tails, and they could Velcro to her wrist like she was holding them. And I th and also she came with a seahorse hair pick, and so did um, the first Mermaid Barbie. So like a lot of the Mermaid dolls from the 90s came with a hair pick, but it had like a seahorse on top. And um, I eventually do want to get a complete babysitting skipper, but I just really wanted her so bad. And I got her for a really great price on eBay a couple years back. And I just, I think she is just so pretty. I love her hair. And this is probably the Kinecolon hair from the 90s. You know, it's nice and crimped. I mean, she is a 90s mermaid girl. Both of them are. And they're both very pretty. And I, I'm just very happy to have them in my um, collection. So that was Skipper. Let's sit her down over here next to her big sister, Barbie. So let's go over these really fun game, uh, gummy snacks that my husband found at Target. So um, they are called Mermaid Jewels and they're got 4D gummies. Um, they're by the company Amos or Amos. <laughs> I'm probably really chopping at the name. I think it's pronounced Amos. So um, I love gummy candies. My husband loves gummy candies and he saw these and thought they would be fun to just kind of go over on my channel. It says right here that they're liquid filled centers. 
Um, and of course the packaging is very fun. Uh, I believe the uh, flavors are blue raspberry and strawberry. Um, so the pink ones of course are part of the strawberry and then the blue ones are the blue raspberry. So um, let's look at them. I have them in a little seashell dish here. And so um, as you can see, they're filled with that liquid filling. And uh, I actually tried a couple earlier. They're very good, both flavors, no complaints. They have a very interesting texture to them. As you can see, they don't look like a normal gummy. They're very shiny. You would think they would have like a slick texture, but they don't. They're just very shiny. They just don't have a normal gummy texture and they're very like see-through and clear. So you can see that center. Um, it was, I mean, they're very tasty. They're very good. So if you're at Target and you see them, I suggest you get them for Mermaid. I mean, it's Mermaid. Why not have some Mermaid Jewel uh, candies to maybe watch Splash or Little Mermaid with your Mermaid Barbies. And maybe if you have an Ariel doll, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So um, that's my review today of uh, Mermaid, the very first Mermaid Barbie from 1991, uh, Mermaid Skipper. I, again, I believe that she is the first Mermaid Skipper, I believe. So um, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you all have a great Mermaid, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and please go check out my Instagram, where I post all uh, updated photos of my collection. Um, I hope you all have a great day and a great week, dolls. Catch you later.